Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we've got with us the Air Commuter Brief 2. A slim and minimal brief bag slash shoulder bag for the professional that's always on the go. I'm Ed from Rush Faster and we do guides and walkthroughs bring you better gear and better ways to carry. So if any of that sounds good to you or you're new to this channel, please consider subscribing. Let's jump right in and check out the Air Commuter Brief 2. The Commuter Brief 2 comes from an updated series to Air's work collection where they've improved and refined the overall collection. We've actually done a number of walkthroughs from that collection so you can head to our channel, check out the playlist Air and you'll see all of our product walkthroughs from Air. So getting onto the bag's materials, on the front face of the bag there is an 840 Denier nylon which is a durable weather resistant carbon polyurethane coating so it's incredibly water resistant. Along with that we have the standard 1680 Denier ballistic nylon cordura which covers the rest of the bag. It's an incredibly durable material. And we have the heavy duty YKK zips as well as some Duraflex hardware. Straight off the bat, you can tell that the bag can stand up on its own. This is a big thing with Airs bags. They've designed the bag in a way to have some structural rigidity, some form to it so that it can stand up on its own, whether it's empty or packed. There's some frame sheets that are inserted into the bag, one of which you can actually remove, and we'll get on that later on in the video. From a branding perspective, there's a little brand tab here on the side, as well as the embossed logo on the zipper pulls, and there is also a branded logo patch inside the bag as well. Getting onto the compartments of the bag, the first compartment in this bag is an organizer panel where we'll be putting most of our smaller bits of gear. So we've got a number of slip pockets and they're actually elasticized so they can fit bigger items if that's what you're carrying. Inside this pocket here I just have my wired earphones. Over here we've got two pen slots, you can also put a stylus in one of these if you're carrying a tablet. Down here we've got a bigger stretch pocket which I've just got my Nomad Universal charging cable. I'm also storing my keys here. On the other side, we've got a bit of a stretchy mesh pocket here, which I have my Bellroy travel folio, as well as my Bluetooth wireless earphones. There's a zippered pocket up here, which gives access to a little key leash. Now this pocket's pretty tight, so I actually haven't chosen to put my keys on this key leash. Instead, I put it in this pocket, which expands out a bit more, just because I've got a bigger set of keys. But if you have a smaller set of keys, you could attach that and put it in this pocket. It's just gonna be a little bit tight. Behind here we've got a big sleeve which is actually padded so you could store a tablet in here if you're carrying a tablet along with a laptop um, but here I've just put in my A4 Rodeo dot pad. Now keep in mind with this compartment although I had it pretty packed out there is some dimension in this front compartment that kind of pushes out so you can store a number of other things in here maybe it's a hat or a scarf or maybe some snacks, um, a lightweight rain jacket, things like that. It does have that dimension to accommodate that space. Getting to the next compartment, we actually have to go through these hall handles, which are currently snapped up by this snap button closure. This just keeps the handles close together. It makes it easier to pick up from the ground, especially when you're in a hurry so they don't flop around, things like that. Uh, but these handles are a sturdy nylon webbing. You're not really gonna have any issues picking this bag up. It's pretty comfortable to carry. Although do keep in mind there is no padding. So if you're carrying this for a long time, you might want to move to the adjustable shoulder strap, which we'll get on later. So getting onto the main compartment, this is where you're gonna be putting most of your bigger items as well as your laptop top. Both this compartment and the first compartment utilize two-way zippers so you can choose to open it like a briefcase if you want. Inside this compartment I've just got an overshirt from Topo and I've got a number of other things as well. I've got my lacy rugged hard drive, I've got some sunglasses and then my reading glasses. Now over on this side we have an elasticized pocket which I think is meant to fit your small water bottles or maybe some sunglasses, glasses, things like that. But inside I've just put my Kinto travel tumbler. This pocket stretches out to fit a number of decent sized water bottles. But I must say it is a little bit finicky to handle. It's a bit cumbersome. Um, you might want to put smaller things in there. It's a bit tricky to put this water bottle in there but I eventually managed to get it in. Just at the base of the bag, we also have a Roost laptop stand, and hopefully you can see a little zipper path here. That actually gives access to a frame sheet, which actually helps with the structural rigidity of the bag to help it stand up and to give it some form. You can remove it if you want, but I think in most cases, you'll probably keep it in there. Now taking a look at the other side, we have a slip pocket here, um, which is helpful to put maybe a book or some documents. I've just got a little notebook inside. 
And then behind that we have the padded laptop sleeve, which has this fleece lining, this faux fur lining. It's quite dense, it's quite padded. This can fit up to a 15 inch laptop. This is my 13 inch MacBook Pro Retina. And the way they've constructed this pocket is that it's slightly suspended off the ground. So if you accidentally drop this bag, your laptop won't be the first thing that's impacted. There's a little bit of buffer to absorb the impact. So that's really helpful for your laptop. Before we get to the back panel, let me quickly show you the shoulder strap. The shoulder strap does look fairly simple, fairly standard, but don't let that fool you. It is fairly padded. It's got this dense air mesh wicking, uh, which will provide quite a lot of comfort and breathability when you carry this bag over your shoulder. And it is a fairly wide cut shoulder strap, so it probably won't dig into your shoulder as easily as other shoulder straps might go. It's got some simple ladder lock adjusters as well as a clip here. All of this hardware is from Duraflex and they connect onto these D-rings on the side here as well as here. And there's also a little air logo tab on the side as well. Getting to the back panel, we actually have a few more compartments to look at. There is a button snap stud here, which gives access to another slip compartment where you can put some magazines or a comic book. And then we also have a zippered compartment here, which is actually a faux fur lined zippered compartment. So that same padding that we had on the laptop sleeve, this is good for delicate items, things like that. I wouldn't put my Bluetooth wireless earphones inside here just because it'll bulge out and it'll actually kind of stick out into my body when I'm carrying it. So inside, I've just got my mobile phone. Over here, we've got the luggage pass-through, which is currently secured down by this Velcro patch here. So if you're traveling, you're on a business trip and you've got a rolling luggage with you, you can actually pop through that telescopic handle on the rolling luggage and then secure it down with the Velcro so it doesn't move around too much. So as mentioned, you can carry the bag simply from the hall handles at the top or crossbody. Well, there you have it, the Air Commuter Brief 2. It's Air's take on the standard work bag. It's got a lot of helpful features. It's an intuitive experience. It has enough organization for your business essentials, and it's wrapped up in high quality materials and presented in a minimalist aesthetic. If you're interested in getting this bag, there's affiliate links in the description below. If you like this video, you found it helpful, and you're thinking about getting this bag, then please consider using those affiliate links. They really help us out. But if you're not thinking about getting this bag, you still wanna support our work, hit the like button, hit the bell, let us know in the comments what you thought about this bag. We always want to hear what you think about the bags we do walkthroughs on. And as always, subscribe to see more carry gear walkthroughs if you haven't already. If you want to see more bags from Air, check out some of the links on the screen at the end of this video. But for now, this has been the Air Commuter Brief 2. Take care and we'll see you next time.